Hello everyone, welcome to Chrisfix Germany again. For today's video, we don't have repair, we will make a tutorial. But if you need a repair, the link is down in the description. You can send your device. So, for today, we will re -bow with this type of stencils for direct heat. They are, I think, very common in this industry. But I will show you today one different uh, method for reboiling. We will not use solder balls, we will not use uh, the graphic chip. So we will not reboil the graphic chip. We will use uh, soldering paste and also we will, will reboil directly the PCB. With this type of reboil, we can uh, save the GPU chip from, from heating and uh, it's a very successful method and also very fast. Hope you enjoy it. Let's begin. So let's start. We have the board here. This is one test board. Nothing special. We have the stencil. This is the stencil for direct heat. I think this board is from uh, 2070 NVIDIA. And this stencil is exactly for this GPU. Next step is to clean the board using alcohol. Just clean the area like that. You want the board to be prepared, all pads to be clean, no solder there, just the pads, nice and shiny. After that, I will take the stencil and place it on the top. Now I will switch over to the microscope. We can adjust it and fix it there. I have prepared one small piece of captain tape. I will take it right now with my tweezers. I will adjust the stencil with my fingers. We need, we, we have to be perfect right here. This is very important. Everything should be on the center. Now I'm placing the captain tape and securing the stencil on the place. Now it's secured. I have four bigger pieces captain tape. We'll place the first one on the on the bottom side. Don't cover the holes, only small area of the stencil. Just like that. Make adjustments right now if needed. If not, we will continue with the next pieces of cup and tape. One for each side. First one is here. I'm taking the second one. Placing it. We have two more. Now I will remove the small piece very gently and we'll place a bigger one there. This cup and tape will protect the surrounding area and also uh, will protect uh, this part of the board from the soldering paste. So we don't want soldering paste everywhere. We need it just in the holes. Now let's switch over to the microscope one more time. Check if the alignment is, oh, is still perfect. Yes, it is. Now we will take alcohol and clean the whole area around the stencil 
all corners, each side, take your time, also the stencil. Now the stencil cleaned, we will take the solder paste. For this example, I'm using Mechanic. You can also use it, it's really simple. Um, the other pastes which I have is this one, it's lead free, made in Germany. This is also very good, but it's a little bit tricky to work with. And I have also this one. It's a uh, melting temperature is 138 degrees. I use this for phone repairs, but uh, I have never used it for for GPUs. If you want to try it, make it, but I don't think it's good enough for this job. So applying the paste, I like to start on every side. Just like that, and go in the middle. Alright, application tool. Looks like this. This side is flexible. The other side is a little bit thicker and it's not flexible. For the solar paste, I use this side. You can also use some kind of plastic cards, something like this will also work. So now starting, nothing special here, just very, very important thing. Don't push, just very gently go on top, try to apply it everywhere, but don't push. If you push the solder paste, we'll go uh, under the so between the stencil and the PCB and with the heating process this will melt there and you have to start again. Just take your time here. Make sure that every hole is filled out. Pay attention to the sides, because the coupling tape is here. This looks good to me. I will remove. Like that. Leave the tool on the side. Still with the paste here, we will need it. Now, take a quad or paper, doesn't matter. Dry, without alcohol, without liquids. And just very, very gently go on top of the stencil and clean this solder paste. We want that the the top surface is completely dry. No flux there. We don't want the flux to be on the top. When start heating, our solder paste will go everywhere. And, and the solder balls will start jumping from the holes and will be a big mess. So. Now I am taking the same the same paste and I will go very quickly one more time. Nothing special, just one more time. This is good enough. Let's clean and dry again. Again, right here, I'm not pushing. I'm just touching the stencil.
Now I like to go under the microscope, check everything one more time. We need to check every single hole and make sure that uh, solder paste is everywhere in every single hole and also with the same amount. If you need to correct something or dry a little bit more the surface, do it right now. But that, this looks very good to me. So, we can start the heating process. It's also very important, I forget, forgot to mention that when you start applying the solder paste, the board should be at room temperature, not warm, not cold. 20 degrees is enough. Now, here comes the funny part paste this on the side. I have here one different preheater and this preheater is from China and we use this a lot for phone repairs and tablet repairs. We heat up the displays to separate the displays from the frames but this preheater also works perfectly for this PCB reboiling. So now the temperature is set to 120 degrees. I will wait three minutes to reach this temperature and then we will continue. Now the board is up to temperature. We have around 110 degrees and now comes the funny part. Hot air, airflow 30% or maybe 20, you can go with 20, much better. Uh, temperature 340 degrees and I will start from the corner, only one corner. For example, this one. I will place my hot air gun here and I will keep it there until I see that this corner, the solder paste starts to melt. This will take some time. Don't rush it. I can also start moving around the circle motion like this, but only this corner. Now I'm really sure that the board temperature on this corner is closer to the melting temperature. I will increase the airflow to 30%. So it was 20. Now I make it 30 and stay there. I see the first balls are coming and just keep the hot air gun there. I will now keep that airflow at 30% and increase the temperature with 10 degrees. And continue working only this corner. As you can see, the balls are coming. Go only in one direction. Very slowly, take your time.
now everything looks fine I will make just one two circles around the whole stencil and that's it turn off the preheater I will remove the preheater and we will continue with removing the stencil and see the result now I turn it off the preheater now we will start removing the casting tape the board is still hot this is the perfect time to remove the stencil again be careful here You don't want to rip any pads. And now very gently, just one corner, go under it. And should come off really easily, like this. Perfect. Now remove the preheater. And we will take a closer look under the microscope. See what we have done. And this one looks perfect. I use some alcohol and a brush to clean the forks. And I will show you the result. So this needs to be ultrasonic cleaned. But for now, we can check the solar balls. We can remove this one here. Just make an inspection. We don't need this one also. But look at these bows. They are perfect. And this is only 10 minutes work. Not more. These three, we have to heat it up one more time. They are not completely... Uh, the solar paste is not completely melted there. But it doesn't matter. We'll do it right now. Heat it. Air flow is again 20. Now let's continue from here. Clean just a little bit more with the brush. We'll take the finer one. We want to dry the area. And I will try to show you a closer look to this work. Can you see that? The board is completely ready for the GPU soldering process. Again, very quickly, one more time under the microscope, you can see it better. And yes, I have a little bit of dirt here. This is not a problem. Check all the check all the bows. Amazing. This was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope also that you learned something new. This PCB rebowling method is very successful for me. Very fast and easy way. To rebow the RAM chips, GPU chip, but instead of the chip, you can rebow the PCB now. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. We will see us in the next one.